Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Appreciate you stopping by. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, click on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well. You don't want to miss another episode. We are currently set up at Goliad State Park, but our visit here is done. We're getting ready to pack up and head west, going to Mathis, Texas, and we're going to spend a couple of days at Lake Corpus Christi State Park. So come along with us as we get on the road and go to Lake Corpus Christi State Park. Here we are, Lake Corpus Christi State Park. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm happy, I'm happy. I can actually get to the water. There's a fishing pier walking distance. We're in a pull through site. I forget the number. We had to change because we, we were at the very last site. So that was 21, but uh, there was a lot of, lot of ant activity there so we, we we repositioned and it wasn't too hard to find another site. But the one we found, number 19, has got these three beautiful oak trees giving us lots of shade. It is so it is it's a pull-through site, as they all are. Most of the sites here have got a little concrete pad, not much. This one I kind of think the oak tree roots busted it up, so they took it out and they put in some big rock, which is kind of hard on the feet, but I think the shade more than makes up for it. We are water and electric only, 30, 30 amp site, and we're taking full advantage of that 20 amp receptacle with the second air conditioning unit. It's pretty level, uh, it's kind of high on the front. Over here on the, the port side, it, it's very uneven, but there again, uh, you can step up one level and it's, it's better. So we've got a metal roofed metal picnic table and a fire ring charcoal cooker thingamajigger no lantern hook but i never use that anyway so I, I i'm not i don't feel like i'm missing out on anything most important is we got lots of shade because it is september 8th 2020 and it's it's still pretty hot so we're gonna grab a bite to eat then we'll go see some stuff we're at corpus christi lake state park corpus christi lake state park is a fisherman's lake. Check this out. You want to talk about being able to fish? You don't need a boat here. You can get right down on the water and you can go out on this big, really loud fishing pier. So we're, we're going to go slow because it's loud. Maybe we ought to just go fast and get it over with. That's what we'll do. Wasn't that a noisy ride? <laughs> Are you guys catching any fish today? Y'all fish out here very often? Yeah, I've been here a couple of times. Hey, have you caught any fish here? Yeah, little one. Little one? Bait deeps. Bait fish? Yeah. All right. Thank you. 
All right. Hey, you heard it from him. Little fish are biting anyway. Let's go see some more stuff. Lake Corpus Christi State Park. They got you covered, man. You can rent kayaks and paddle boards from the automated station. And you can also get your firewood from the wood shack. That's located over here by the big aluminum fishing pier. And there's bank fishing. I don't think it's really considered a beach. But people are in the water. And there's a small watercraft boat ramp on this side. So by the Possum, Possum Bend Camping Loop. Let's go, let's go see some more stuff. Corpus Christi Lake State Park has got you covered. We can't go inside, but there is a screened shelter that already has beds in it. So you don't have to sleep on, <laughs> on the concrete floor. You got beds. And then, hold on, there's, there's more right over here in this, in this little area. So we're going to zip over here across the street. And we have air-conditioned cabins. So you don't even have to be hot when you go to bed. Let's go see some more stuff. We're here at the Old Park Pavilion. This was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in 1933 and 1934. I honestly didn't even know this park was that old. Got a rotunda. I guess that's what it's called. I don't know. What would you call it? I, I, I enjoy seeing these old CCC built structures in our state parks. The Grand Staircase. I'm not going to go down there, fellas. Folks, I'm not going to go down there. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow, but not today. All right, we're going to go back up here and explore a little more. Hold on. More to come. All right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to climb the staircase. You know, this is the third park on this trip that I've been to. I've been riding Little Red all over the place, climbing in and out of the motorhome. Brother, my legs are getting tired. All right, we have a commanding view. Another lookout point there, but that seems to be out of commission. And they obviously don't want us climbing onto the roof. Let's go see what else we can find. Let's go find some more stuff. Lake Corpus Christi State Park. What a beautiful day use area. And there's even another fishing pier and fish cleaning station. They expect you to catch fish in this park. So let's cruise on out here and check it out. This is a really pretty lake. There you have it. Let's go find some more stuff. 
they're going to spook when I start rolling. But the show must go on. We'll see how close we can get. Come on, Junior. Let's get out of here. Here comes that one of those weird things that we don't like. This is actually in the primitive camping loop. Lake Corpus Christi State Park. I'm on Mesquite Point. That's the metal boat, the aluminum fishing dock and a little boat ramp. Miss V's just on the other side of that building, the restroom. So over here you've just got a big, huge day use beach. Now the water level is down, but not, not too bad. There's lots of day use area, lots of opportunity to get up next to the water. Let's go see what else we can get into. Now if you got a group of folks that want to get together at the lake and you're looking for a place to do that, well, you might not have to look too much farther than Lake Corpus Christi State Park. Look at the size of that smoker. So we got a covered pavilion with, with restrooms and they put bird netting in there so you don't have to worry about the barn swallows pooping on your party. <laughs> Somebody needs to take out their trash though and Although that sidewalk is not too handicap friendly. We're not going down there with Little Red. So let's go see something else. Lake Corpus Christi State Park. Well, you might have a boat and you might want to put that boat in the water and have need of a boat ramp. So that must be the deep water boat ramp as opposed to the shallow water boat ramp over where I'm camped. I really do like being in the state parks during the week, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, when the parks are empty. Another day use area. This one's directly across from the day use area in front of Miss V. A different angle on the fishing pier. be a nice nice place to spend a week or two camping let's go see what else we can get into let's go see some more stuff We've just finished with supper. 
and I came out. I've got a I've got a camera down on the pier, fishing pier. I got I got to go check out the camera on the fishing pier. I'm not sure if you can see it or see them, but there are a couple of deer. I think these are the ones the, the doe and fawn that we saw earlier today. That's pretty cool. I decided to come down here and try my hand at some fishing. And uh, something is, is, something has got the gulls all excited right out here. Maybe some, some shad or something are, are running. Anyway, got a hot dog in the water right now. Turns out our refrigerator's got a sitting issue and my worms were frozen this morning. There's nobody here. It's Wednesday, September 9, 2020, Lake Corpus Christi State Park. I decided to come down and try my hand doing some fishing. We'll see what we can do. If I catch something, you'll be the, you'll know. I'll put it on YouTube. Lake Corpus Christi State Park. Once again, I am fortunate that I don't have to clean any fish. It's time to go do a FPV scooter tour. Sun is in the right place, so let's go, let's go ride. Looks like all of our outdoor fun is about to come to a screeching halt. Thunderstorm moving this way. kind of puts a damper on the party. Ooh, there's lightning. Good morning. Corpus Christi Lake State Park. Quite a change from yesterday when it was humid and just sticky all day. Apparently we had a cold front or something blow in last night. It is, it is, it's chilly. Almost chilly enough for a jacket. The wind's out of the north. It's actually a refreshing change, but we're done here. We're headed back north today. So a little recap on Lake Corpus Christi State Park. I, this is a destination park. If you are looking for a place to go and have water activities available, even if you don't have a boat, there's plenty of, there's lots of fishing opportunities. There's lots of swimming opportunities. I would recommend coming spring or fall because I'm sure that during the middle of the summer this place is brutally hot. Uh, but right now the, the park is pretty well empty. The 30 amp connection loop that we're on, there's two hosts and two visitors. Now the 50 amp full connection, that's full. But definitely worth a, a, a visit for more than one day. We're done here. 
From here, we're going to head on up to Belton Lake. Going to West Cliff Park, West Cliff Park on Belton Lake. That's a one-nighter. It's, it's just a waypoint stop for us. But got a surprise in store, so you're going to want to watch that video. I have a surprise guest showing up, the Meister Spicer. He said he's going to cook me some supper. Carne asada. All right, so if this is your first visit to Dude RV, thank you. I really appreciate you stopping by and watching to this point. If you haven't already, please click on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm, I'm so deeply honored. Here's to you. That's why we do what we do. Y'all come back now, you hear?